Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Upender Singh here, who's recently got into NCR Corporation uh, as an intern and FT through his campus placements at VIT. He is here today to share his interview experience with us. Before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria. So the eligibility criteria was that the student should belong to CSE, IT or ECM branches. So you have 60% or 60 GPA above in 10th and 12th and 65% or 6.5 CGPA above in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's talk to him. Hi Upinder, welcome to my channel. Uh, firstly, congratulations on your placement. Uh, so would you first like to introduce yourself? So I'm Upinder Singh. I'm currently in my final years. Uh, I'm from uh, Bellor Institute of Technology, Chennai, and doing my graduation in uh, computer science and engineering. Okay, okay, thank you. And now you can tell us about your process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. So the first NCR came was in November, and um, uh, it had, first it take uh, took the uh, exam. Uh, exam consists of around thirty MCQs, or uh, and two uh, coding questions. So coding was uh, uh, like uh, there were not three questions, not uh, very. You know, that it was a one linkless, linkless questions and one was array question. So mm-hmm. it was not very much difficult. Okay. Uh, NCR is also uh, hired first time from BID. Oh, okay. So we were not very much aware about how the process goes. Mm-hmm. So uh, so it was the first round, and out of that, I think one fifty around people cleared the coding uh, round, and mm-hmm. then they were selected for the interview. So after the inter- exam, uh, we were given before the interview, we were given two choices uh, for DevOps or uh, as just uh, developer. Uh, so I took the developer. Hmm. Uh, so uh, very few people fill DevOps uh, interview. Okay. So in my interview for the developer, uh, we had four rounds uh, total. One was um, you know, first was technical, other was also technical, hmm. and third one was managerial, and fourth one was HR round. Okay. Uh, so and all of these rounds were of one hour. Each, okay. Uh, the HR round, HR was like only 30 minutes. Okay. So first round, um, it was uh, for one hour. Uh, two people took uh, took the uh, interview for me. Uh, hmm. Both were from the NCR. Okay. And they were asking like from basic to uh, trees and all, every question they asked. <laughs> so okay. it was not like I cannot point it out, key, you know, this is the uh, part where she asked the most. So mm. Everything from asking how many, um, you know, about integer, long, double, float, from this basics to trees. Everything they ask. So, uh, if you're preparing for NCR, then you have to thorough with your basics. Okay. Uh, how the data structures works, you know, heap structure, linked list, and all. Everything you have, you should know the functionality and all mm. uh, for that. Uh, so it was, uh, and also from the uh, SQL, everything, mm. each and every part they, uh, you know, covered in the one hour. Mm. And I was given uh, one coding question to uh, do. It was not very much difficult, but the thing was, uh, she wanted me to, you know, again, uh, she was uh, giving so many test cases again and again to improve the code. Okay. So that was, uh, that uh, took uh, around uh, 10 minutes of mm. one hour mm. uh, for the coding one. Uh, so it was very simple also it was like on hacker rank hmm. uh, so it, um, uh, the hacker rank uh, code editor was there so i had to code in that uh, and show them the yes code is working very properly or not and then after that uh, they dig, dig up my entire resume okay. whatever i wrote they were like okay you know this uh, tell us this uh, you have you have been with this organization hmm. even about my youth red cross club i was in, in vid hmm. so they even asked you do uh, what you did in that and how we managed after the pandemic you know mm. what uh, what other activities you did and mm. all so i told her everything about that and uh, everything about my internship also uh, how you manage internship you know and um, then how you manage exams your daily life and everything like it was like at the end end of five minutes uh, she was getting into management side as well okay. how you, you handle uh, this and all uh, then uh, the first round got over I wasn't very hopeful for the uh, that I'll get selected to the next round. And after uh, one and a half hour, uh, I got a mail for the next round interview. So in the next round interview, uh, it was uh, he he took uh, he also took for one hour as well. But he uh, went into my AI and you know deep learning side as mm. well because I had many projects in that. I have also published a research paper on that mm. uh, in my AI class. 
hmm. with three of my mates okay. so he was very interested in that so he was like okay how you did that what algorithms you use what hmm. you know about deep learning hmm. and also he was asking questions like uh, uh, you know it was one basic question that i remember was what are, what what are my views on these uh, mobile companies offering you know fully ai functional hmm. camera hmm. what i think of that uh, so he wanted to know whether i agree or it is a bluff or no so wanted to know my views okay on that also everything about like um, uh, projects uh, he was totally into like okay how you did that out everything like he wanted to assure that i did that project hmm. so he, he was testing me on that uh, so Yeah, it also took a uh, uh, like one hour. He was cross questioning me okay. uh, the whole time. So after that, this interview after thirty minutes, I got the uh, mail for the management round. It was management interview. Okay. And uh, in the management round, uh, she was testing me, you know, on the skills of teamwork, uh, communications, presentation. Uh, in the uh, mid, she was saying, you know, giving some situation based questions like how you will handle this. situation and something like if in your internship you will be offered two projects at the same time okay. so how how we handle the deadline and all so do you have any prior experience in communicating with the you know mm. workplace mm. Uh, how to communicate with your team work mm. and whether uh, my projects i did all the projects in the team or individually okay you need to know that and after when i said like okay some projects i did individually and some projects mm. uh, i did uh, team. with the team mm. so she was like okay what are the differences you find mm. in those Which you prefer most? Okay. So many types of questions uh, she was uh, asking me, and uh, this took around uh, one hour as well. Then after fifteen to twenty minutes, uh, um, it was um, uh, uh, I got the mail for the HR. Okay. Uh, the HR, um, he was like, okay, he didn't ask anything, you know, project mm. or he was like, just tell me about yourself. And uh, and in the HR, I cut out, you know, the technical part. Because I knew uh, all the technical was done, so now, now I have to be like hobbies and all mm, and everything. Mm, mm. He was very, he was already only asking like about hobbies and all. He was like, okay, what you do, uh, how frequently you do this and all, so how you manage this and this mm, and this. Mm. And was, then he was like, are you okay to you know move to Hyderabad or not? Uh, mm. Whether it is problem to you because mm. you live in Delhi and all. Mm. So I was like, oh no, it is uh, very fine. And he wanted to know like, okay, how you. Uh, Will manage it and all. I, that question is free. And then after that, in the interview itself, he said like, okay, we are, uh, you are the select candidates, and okay. we will offer you, uh, this. And he also asked me like, uh, if I have any offer and all. Uh, so I had the L N T offer, hmm. but uh, then it was like, okay, then it L N T is a dream, so hmm. you have to reject it. I was like, yes, sir, definitely. You were super dream. If you offer me, then I have to hmm. uh, reject everyone else. Hmm. So I, so he was like, okay, I wanted the that assurity that you will be joining. So I was like, yes, sir. So this was the end. Okay, okay. So then you got, you got a mail that obviously you got selected. Okay, yeah. okay. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. Uh, do you have any specific suggestions for people who want to get into NCR? Uh, basically, uh, if I tell you about it, I think people don't know anything about NCR because I didn't anything hmm. uh, at the uh, when the company first came. Hmm. So. Uh, now I am working with this NCR works in the banking, retail, and hospitality sectors. Okay. So uh, basically, you you'll get any of these, you know, if you get selected. Um, mm. So or if you want to switch, also after one year, you can switch if you are assigned to retail industry and you have relevant skill for banking. So you can switch within one year. Okay. It's also it's not an issue. So you'll get to work with each and every sector, mm. and uh, basically. You will get to work with a lot of cloud cloud infrastructure. Mm. There is a plus for if you want to uh, learn how the uh, things goes. Uh, so definitely, I'll say that uh, NCR has a lot uh, in the retail industry. We don't have much projects uh, in the India. Uh, so I am assigned retail NCR right now, and uh, all of the projects are basically of US and uh, Europe. Okay. Uh, so basically, you will get to work with the people over there. Mm. How the uh, thing. Happens, you know. What are the things you have to keep in mind? Hmm. So, yeah, you get to learn a lot uh, from the people here. Okay. okay. That's. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Uh, thank you so much for coming and sharing your experience. Thank you, everyone, for watching.